Depreciation is when the cost of tangible assets are allocated over their useful life. So what this means is that instead of accounting for the cost of an asset when it is bought, the cost of that same asset will be spread across its lifetime. Before we get into an example, I want to tell you that there are many methods companies use to calculate depreciation. For this example, we will be using the straight line method because it's simple and I want this video to help you understand the gist of how depreciation works. The formula for straight line depreciation is cost price minus salvage value divided by the useful life of the asset. The cost price is how much it costs the company to purchase and begin using the asset. The salvage value means when the company is done with the asset, how much money can they get out of it? So they can get money by selling, scrapping, or trading in the asset. Now let's look at the useful life of an asset. The useful life can be expressed in many different ways. It can be expressed in years, months, working hours, and even units. For our example, I'll keep it simple and express useful life in years. Say a company purchases equipment for $20 million. This equipment will last for an estimated 10 years. And once it is done with, the company can trade it in for an estimated $2 million. So now let's plug these numbers into the formula. $20 million minus 2 million divided by 10 years equals $1.8 million per year. So what happens with this 1.8 million is that it becomes a part of expenses and affects net income. The company still gets this money, but because they didn't show that they spent $20 million when the equipment was bought, they now have to show the expense over time. Net income before taxes is revenue minus expenses. This 1.8 million will now be a part of expenses because the company has to account for the purchase. This 1.8 million will continue to be a part of expenses for the next 10 years because the cost of the asset has to be accounted for. Another thing that this 1.8 million affects is asset values. As we know, book value is assets minus liabilities. Since this equipment is a part of these assets and is depreciating every year, assets will decrease. Every year, this 1.8 million is subtracted from assets because this equipment isn't worth $20 million a year later. In the accounts, it is worth 20 minus 1.8 million, so 18.2 million. Every year, the stated value of the equipment will decrease by 1.8 million because it is depreciating. This will reduce assets and in turn, reduce book value on the balance sheet. Depreciation continues until the asset is fully depreciated or if the company gets rid of the asset. In conclusion, depreciation is when the cost of an asset is spread across its useful life. Depreciation is a part of expenses and affects net income. It also affects book value by reducing asset values.